Well, hello. Welcome back to A Tale of Three Cabins. It's Labor Day weekend. I got a lot of work to do, a very big project. And this attachment is going to make or break my whole weekend. Come see what I'm talking about. Come check it out. So that $59 little tool there, that clamp-on hitch that I have on my bucket is really going to be um, most important for this weekend. I'm clearing out around the house, get things out of the way. This trailer weighs about 2,000 pounds and that handles it pretty good. However, I'm going to be renting some equipment that's upwards around six to 7,000 pounds and that could be a big difference. Well, it's been about eight years since the last time I stayed in my house, and that's just enough time for me to forget about just how much I hate staying in my house. But it's due. Some areas are worse than others. Um, I'm going to have to start out by pressure washing the whole thing, um, letting it dry for a day, and then staining it. This year I did not want to deal with ladders or scaffolding or having planks in precarious positions while I have one foot on a rung and the other one hanging out on the roof. So I rented this towable lift. It's got a vertical reach of over 60 feet, which is plenty high to get above my house. And it reaches um, straight out about 30 feet. So I'm hoping that I can get past our landscaping and onto these doghouse dormers. And same thing in the backyard, get over the deck and get that shed dormer there just above our sunroom. This is the first time I've rented a lift like this, so I'm going to start out easy. I'm going to stay on the concrete. I'm just going to park it here with the truck, but then when I need to go around the house and into the backyard, I'm going to need JD and that $59 clamp-on hitch to get me around the house. Now, I rented this for the weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, so I picked it up. It's a Friday afternoon. And I don't have to return it till Tuesday, which gives me a one-day rate of about 250 bucks. So I have it for a little over three days. Ever since I've stained the house, I've always used an oil-based stain. Basically, the oil base soaks into the wood and over time just kind of wears out. Maybe the rain washes it a little way or maybe the sun beats it up a little bit and it eventually thins out and you need to replace it. The pressure washing is basically just getting rid of the dirt. Um, it's getting rid of some of the old stain. You can actually see the stain washing off as you're pressure washing and it just makes a cleaner surface for your new stain to get applied to. This lift runs strictly on batteries. It has a AC outlet in the bucket and I keep it plugged in the whole time. Um, there's no gas engine, no diesel engine. If you plan on renting one of these, they're pretty easy to handle. The hardest part is um, figuring out the best location to put it that's going to give you the most reach when you're doing the project. The controls are pretty easy to figure out. Um, you have different speed levels on there. I'll kind of go over some of the controls a little later in, in this video or maybe my next one.
figured this is a good time to wash our metal roof also. Over a period of time it's going to get sap from the trees. It actually gets mold on it too just like a, a shingled roof would. So um, it's a good time for me to just clear that off and kind of make it look new again. Log houses have a lot of little nooks and crannies in them and I inadvertently knocked out a few bats that were making their home in those. No bats were harmed in the making of this video other than getting a little soggy. I get a lot of questions about that clamp-on hitch and the one thing that it will do is it will pivot if you have something very heavy like this lift and if you notice I'm trying to push with the tractor and it's going to pivot it won't come off it's never come off and it won't slide off even if you're pulling on it but it does pivot from side to side and no matter how tight you get it it seems like it's going to do it when you have an object that's very heavy that you're moving around. This is a good example to show you the contrast between the pressure wash and the non-pressure wash where we're taking off all that dirt, some old stain, and, and even some mold that grows on there. So it comes in handy if you have a second person just to do the outriggers because it can take a couple minutes to deploy these and to retract them. And it, you could be doing something else while this is happening. For instance, I'm moving the garden hose around, the extension cords around, cables. Alright, so this is the part I'm worried about. It's very soft here in the backyard. I killed off this grass earlier in the year. I didn't want to reseed the grass until after I stained the house. One thing that's nice is I can drop the hitch and reposition into a better spot and then pick up right where I left off moving this thing around. Unless you're on a little bit of a hill, then I want to warn you, you should have a chalk and should always put the brake on. You can't see from this angle, but the far wheel is starting to sink into the mud and it's making it harder to push back here and the tractor is having an issue just steering because of the weight of the lift.
going to try to pull it back and try to come off of that course just a little bit to the right and see if I can avoid that soft spot. But it's pretty soft back here all over the place. It's looking like this is the best I can do. I wish I could have got a few more feet closer to the house, but I'm going to have to make do and hopefully I can reach. This is one of those areas where it's always hard for me. I'd have to set up a ladder either against the house or part of the garage here and, and run a plank to the peak of the breezeway. And it was always kind of a difficult area to get and it's pretty easy here. One thing that I'm realizing though is that um, the reach I use with this wand and right now my spray gun for the stain is just handheld. There's no extension wand on it. So I'm thinking for me to be able to reach a lot of these areas, I'm going to have to run out and buy an extension wand. See now I was stuck in the mud in the backyard there, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to position that lift where I want to get over the back deck and get to that shed dormer. If you watched the channel before, you know that I have this overhang where I keep most of my implements and I use some old scaffolding to kind of shelf them, stack them on top of one another. And I mentioned that I don't use the scaffolding very often, maybe once every couple of years. Well, I'm going to have to use it now. I was hoping to avoid using the scaffolding, but it's not going to be too bad. Basically, I just need it on the deck here, and we can wheel it back and forth. I was able to reach to the right of me with the lift, and I haven't had to use the ladder yet, so we're still in good shape. Well, we passed that 15 minute mark. I'm going to pick up where we left off next week. I'll finish up some of the pressure washing and start the staining process. I'm going to run into a few issues with the lift and a few issues with the sprayer and a few issues with the weather. So check it out next week. Thanks for watching. 
Hope you subscribe and keep an eye on us. Take care.